Our destination for today is Conroe, Texas, home to about 80,000 folks, a nice lakefront, and all kinds of cool, unconventional places where you can find a good drink. Just about 40 miles north of downtown Houston, it's far away enough to escape the hustle and bustle of a big city, but a short trip for our resident Houstonian, Tessa Andrade. Hey, AC! Tessa, so good to see you! Welcome to Conroe! Thanks! I'm really excited to be here, and the drive was not bad at all. Which is pretty perfect, because Conroe has a ton of hot spots we definitely need to hit up. I'm excited to do that, but we need to grab a bite to eat and fuel up first, so let's go. Let's go. Our first stop, downtown's newest hotspot, Pacific Yard House. Housed inside this historic building is a brand new bar, restaurant, and live music venue bringing in the latest music acts from Texas and beyond. And did we mention they have some serious amazing food too? This is bomb. Oh my God. So good. I love bread. And now with lunch behind us, it was off to our next destination. All right, Tessa, so this is Blue Epiphany Vineyards and really cool story about how it all got started was a group of law enforcement and military veterans. They actually wanted to take their passion for wine to the next level. So how cool is that? That sounds awesome. Yeah. I'm passionate about <laughs> wine, so let's get started. Let's do it. Ducked away at the edge of a pine grove is a rustic, relaxed vineyard that's made a name for itself, creating not one, but multiple award-winning wines. So to give us the 411 on this place, we sat down with founders, James and Chris. Blue Epiphany, how did this epiphany come about? That, that, that would be me, <laughs> I, I epiphanied. Uh, <laughs> I, I was a sergeant on night shift at the sheriff's office and I was on one of my nights off. Pretty much I didn't want to go to work the next day. I, I, I'd gotten, out, gotten into law enforcement to stay in for about five to eight years. I was in year 14 and I was ready to go and do something else. Didn't know what to do. And so I was sitting there on the couch with a glass of red wine, watching a show about wine. And it just struck me. All of these people on the show have done this. Why can't I do that? And so the next day I set to work trying to make it happen. Nice. So <laughs> what is the big, I guess, difference from that career to this? I feel like that's a huge contrast. Well, I think most importantly for us is, is um, Every interaction that we have with people now is positive. You know, we don't have any negative interactions with people. Not that I, I'm very proud of my law enforcement background. I love being a cop. So this is a much more uh, healthy lifestyle, I believe. Everything is positive, so. We, we didn't want it to be a cop winery. We want it to be a winery, an award-winning winery that's run by cops. There's a story behind the label. So when we were designing the label, I did want to uh, hide a few elements of law enforcement in there. We, in we included the thin blue line to represent law enforcement, Five Point Texas Star, which is also the sheriff's star that we used to wear when we were on patrol. So uh, we did want to throw some law enforcement hints in there that don't really stand out on their own. They just kind of looks like a, a Texas winery, but they mean something. Wow, like kind of makes me not want to open it up and like destroy it, but <laughs> I mean, nice. we're here for a reason, That's right? right <laughs> do you mind showing us the way to go meet Jack so we can actually sip some of this wine? Absolutely, let's do it. So first up is 18 Days. This is our sweet white blend of Muscat Blanc and Pinot Grigio. So the Muscat Blanc will have some nice sweet notes of honey and natural sugars. And then on the finish, you'll have some crisp notes of green apple with the Pinot Grigio. So Roussan is next. This wine is a dry white. This one will have notes of apple and honey and a little bit of pear on the finish. I don't taste the pear though. The pear is very subtle. Oh, and it's now I do. On the finish. Nope, there I do now. Yeah. That's like clockwork. House Divided is up next. Mmm, sounds like an Aggie UT rival. Yeah, really it's does. a little joke there, a little nod to that rivalry or any competition. The main reason behind the name is it's a 50-50 blend of a very dark varietal, the Tanat, and a very light varietal, the Pinot Noir. Also, the Pinot Noir that we blend in this is 16% ABV, so it's it's significantly higher than your average red. I heard that, I heard right. that, yeah. 
So this is our newest red, uh, Combinado. This is a blend of Sagrantino, Shuzao, and Tintacao. That is a lot of vowels. Yeah, um, I like vowels. My favorite thing about this wine is I feel like there's a little bit of a coffee flavor okay. hiding in there somewhere, and then a finish of some crushed cherries. So I definitely taste the coffee that that's, you were talking about. That's funny that you say the coffee because I taste the cherry. And to get a little bit more insight into what makes Conroe such a hot spot for cool places to raise your glass, we made our way to meet marketing director, Shannon. So this is my first time actually really experiencing Conroe. What all is there to do? Well, you know, I mean, there's so much going on here. Of course, we've got Texas history, arts and culture, We've got a lake, a forest, um, hiking trail, and we've got great culinary experiences, including not only this great winery, but we've got craft breweries here in town too. Yeah, and so I'm, I'm actually showing Tessa around here, Conroe. Uh, so what are some things that we can do for the nightlife and or you know day life also? I suggest you go check out one of our three craft breweries, Southern Stars, just right down the street. Um, after that, catch some live music. Go head downtown, Pacific Yard House has live music almost every night of the week. So head down there. Well, we just got back from Pacific Yard House, so we may need to go back, what do you say? Yeah, <laughs> let's do it. Cheers, Shannon. Cheers. Stay right where you are. More from Conroe, Texas, coming up. Hey y'all, and welcome back to Yellow Texas, where I'm teaming up with our in-house custodian, Tessa, and showing her the culinary drink scene in Conroe. All right, Tessa, so for our next stop, we're heading to Southern Star Brewing Company, really known for their bombshell blonde. Wait, I love bombshell blonde. That's like my go-to beer back in Houston. Oh my goodness, so it's so perfect. It's made right here in Conroe, Texas. I had no idea. Let's go check it out. Let's do it. Yes! Founded in 2007 by former head brewer of St. Arnold Brewing, Southern Star Brewing Company lives in an impressive facility equipped to satisfy beer lovers of all kinds. You know, I, I love the craft of making beer. I love everything that goes into it. Yellow beers are kind of maligned uh, in the craft brewing world right now, but it's real hard to make really clean, um, good tasting beers. You know, execution is, is what we're very much uh, proud of. So why Conroe? Like why did you think that this was the best place to have a brewery? It's the epitome of Texas. It really is. It's like it's just like everything cool about Texas, the the, the friendliness, the the openness, you know, it, it's all here and I love it here. I can attest to that. I love Conroe's community and everyone that we've worked with and encountered ever since we've come and, and explored here. Top notch, 100% friendly, welcoming. And now we see some beers here that you probably have nailed, obviously. <laughs> so we're ready to consume. What do we have here on um, flight? The first flight, uh, the first uh, beer in the flight is our Kolsch. It's uh, formerly known as Humidity, that's why it has HM on okay, it. Okay. Gotcha. Um, but, uh, it is, uh, it's a German ale, which is, is uh, rare for German beers, um, but it's got a really nice German hot profile. Um, the next one is the Bombshell Blonde. What makes the Bombshell Blonde unique is it's got a little bit of a biscuity flavor and aroma to it, but it's the final hop addition in that that makes, uh, that, makes that beer so special. I'm um, excited. And this that's what makes time. it kind of like, oh, fantastic. I'm so excited. It tastes like home. <laughs> I can see why. Concerns. I can see why it is very popular, and why it's your go-to. This is my go-to. <laughs> that is. This last one that we're going to have is very, very different um, from the the predecessors. This is a completely different style. This is a, an American uh, India Pale Ale. I mean, this one is my go-to as of here, but this one is my spirit animal. As you know, <laughs> spirit. So right. go-to spirit. <laughs> That makes sense to me. <laughs> Select from a variety of craft beer, grab a bite to eat, wind down with your friends at the bar or over a game of your choosing, and enjoy the great taste that is Conroe, Texas. And just because the sun was getting low didn't mean our day in Conroe was over. It was back to Pacific Yard House to end our night with some live music. All right, Tess. 
Cheers. As promised, the Yard House was lively and fully entertaining. All right, Tessa, so kind of the whole idea of this segment was that you don't need a big city in order to find a cool place to hang out. So, what do you think about Conroe? I mean, AC, you know I love Houston, but it has been so great to not have to stay in town to have a good time. Right. Like, great music, great food, great people. I mean, what more can you ask for? You know, that's what I've been saying all this time, all along. So I'm so glad that you're able to join on the mm -hmm. long ride. And I'm so glad we were able to hang out. And Dude, Tessa. me too. All right, Conroe, we're gonna keep on keeping on. Later. Cheers. Adventure awaits in Conroe, Texas. For more information on the locations we visited today, click on visitconroe.com.